Tracy Photography. Today we are going to attempt the Canon R7 Astrophotography Challenge. For this challenge, I want to shoot three targets in outer space and see how this camera holds up to those targets. The first one's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to shoot at the moon with my Canon RF 600 lens. This is going to be a 960 millimeter focal length on the back of my Canon R7 because the R7 is a crop sensored camera and Canon's crop is 1.6. So this lens turns into a 960 millimeter, almost like a telescope. I should have no problem photographing the moon. I should get some great detail with this. The moon's gonna fill the entire back of my screen with this lens. That's the first challenge. After we complete the first challenge, we're gonna leave our galaxy all together. And I wanna shoot a galaxy outside of our own and that's gonna be the Andromeda galaxy. For that, I'm gonna take the Canon R7 and the kit lens that came with it, which is the 18 to 150. I'm going to put this on top of a move shoot move tracker, put it on a tripod and focus it up in Andromeda for about an hour and a half. With an hour and a half, I'm not going to get a professional quality type photograph. That's not what I'm really going for here. I just want to see if I can get the detail that I'm hoping I can get with this kit lens in an hour and a half. It's not going to be the greatest photograph and I don't even care. I just want to see that it has the ability, if I'm willing to put in more time to it, that I could actually take a professional quality photograph with this lens, this camera, on a move, shoot, move tracker. So that's going to be my second challenge. The third challenge is going to be the most fun, and that is I want to take some pictures of planets. I want to get Saturn and Jupiter, and for that, I'm going to take a tube and put a four millimeter lens eyepiece in it. And I'm going to attach that to the camera and put it into the diagonal of the telescope. So I'm shooting right through the telescope at these planets. I think I'm going to be able to get some pretty great detail. Jupiter's supposed to be as close to Earth as it's been in 59 years. So it's going to be right there, prime for me to get a photograph of. That's going to be the third challenge with this camera. If it can handle all three of those, I'm going to say that, yeah, the Canon R7 is going to be a great astrophotography camera. Come with me. We're headed out to take a picture of the moon. We are ready for challenge number one of the astrophotography challenge. And this is going to be shoot the moon. And this is actually going to be a super easy challenge. Because what I'm doing here is I'm taking the Canon R7. That is my RF 600 millimeter lens. It hasn't been pulled out yet. I'll show you what it looks like when it's fully out. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to come back here. Let me go ahead and turn on my screen you want to make sure that your shutter mode is set to electronic shutter and that's going to be super important with all astrophotography because if you're using let's go ahead and show you what the other ones are you got electronic with first curtain and mechanical and both of those will cause the camera to shake just a teeny teeny bit so you want to make sure it's on electronic and what that does is it makes sure that there's no movement when the shutter goes off then I'm going to use a cable that I'm going to connect to the camera right here. And I'm just going to take 20 quick shots of the moon. And then we're going to take it and uh, I'm going to put those 20 shots together. I'm going to stack them together and pull out some of the uh, saturation to show you the colors. Let's go ahead and get this set up and I'll show you what that's going to look like. All right, the camera's ready to go. That's what the 600 millimeter lens looks like when it's all the way out. And of course, it's got to be all the way out to do any shooting at all. I'm going to aim this at the moon. That's all there is to it. I've got my cable release right there. I'm going to take 20 quick photographs using the camera, just pointing at the moon. Super easy. You can do this with any long lens that you got. Put your camera on a tripod, aim up at the moon, and you're ready to go. Now, if you want to know how to pull out the great colors in the moon, I did a whole video on the pulling out the saturation so you can see the minerals on the moon. Go back and take a look at that. I'm not going to show that to you. I'm going to quickly take these photographs right now. And now let me show you what the moon looks like shot through this setup right here. All right, you can see how big the moon shows up in the back of your viewfinder. That's how zoomed in you get with that 600 millimeter RF lens. All right, I'm locked in pretty good. I'm gonna show you what I got going on. It's just pretty simple. Tripod, oops, let's get it down here. Tripod, the move, shoot, move tracker right there on top. And then my Canon R7 with the kit lens up there, which is the 18 to 150. So with the crop sensor, I think I'm getting uh, 
220 on that. So we're shooting the Andromeda Galaxy. I'm not going to shoot it for a long time. I might get an hour if I'm lucky. But I'm just shooting it to see if I can actually make this little setup work. The move shoot move is about 250 bucks. So if you have got the Canon R7 and the, the uh, kit lens, you're set to go. I'm sure you already got a tripod. It's a pretty easy little setup. And we're going to shoot for about an hour, like I said. Maybe more. I don't know. We'll see. And I'm locked in pretty good. It took a while to get the focus in. That's been the hardest part. Everything else is pretty simple. So a real simple little astrophotography setup. We'll see how it goes. So far, so good. Okay, so there we go. Again, there's the setup. Camera shooting right down into the eyepiece. And we're recording Jupiter. Well too bright on the camera but you'll see it when I show you it's shooting through the actual camera but there it is great little setup right there okay we are now shooting Jupiter through the same setup through the uh, eyepiece projection I got my Canon R7 tucked into the eyepiece shooting on the Esprit 120 and you can see some pretty decent detail there in Jupiter not only that I'm impressed with how big it's filling the screen so really a nice pretty good close-up shot of Jupiter tonight. Well, there's Saturn in the back of my camera. We're looking again through the eyepiece projection right here in my backyard. Pretty impressive how, how close in I can get here with the refractor. A 120 millimeter refractor here. It's pretty impressive to get that kind of detail. Let's get rid of this. All right, so there is Saturn in the back of my camera on top of my... Zoomed in even more. It's pretty noisy, but there it is. That's pretty incredible that I am looking at Saturn in the back of my camera. That is my... In fact, let me bring it up for you. That's my camera right there. Attached to my telescope up here. And then right back here on the screen, let me bring that up for us again. And in a second, when it stops shaking, you'll see what it looks like right there. How incredible is that to get Saturn that big in the back of my camera? Pretty impressive. Well, there it is, the astrophotography challenge. I'd say the Canon R7 did an outstanding job. With the moon, awesome. All you need is a long lens, take the R7, point it up at the moon, you're gonna get a great photograph. With the Andromeda Galaxy, it wasn't so great, but that was all my fault. I didn't get the focus locked in very good. I was using the kit lens. To be honest, if I was gonna use this camera, I would attach it directly to my telescope not using the eyepiece projection, but actually just attaching it straight to the back of the telescope. And then I would shoot for five or six hours and you'd get a great photograph. Galaxies don't have H-alpha gas, which is that red gas, which you need an astromodified camera for. So for galaxies, you don't need an astromodified camera. And therefore the Canon R7, especially with its high megapixels, would be a great camera to take pictures of galaxies. And then last but not least for the planets, Wow, I was so impressed with what I was able to get. I was using a pretty small telescope. It's a 120 millimeter length telescope. It's a refractor. So you're not getting the zoom that you would get that you would get with, a, with a big reflector. But still, I was able to get some really nice planet photographs with both Saturn and Jupiter. So I would say the Canon R7 did a great job on those. Overall, the Canon R7 is going to be a great astrophotography camera. I highly recommend it. Hey, thanks for coming with me today. I'll see you guys next time on Bruce Tracy Photography.